All right, guys. Uh, so this was a recording a little early today. Um, Ripstorm told me that I needed to be recording when hopping on because she made something. So, uh, a little scared of what it is, what she what she made. Sorry if you guys like hear me chewing on something or maybe. I am I have a cough drop right now because my throat's a little sore. Oh, the lag. You gotta move that up. Okay, nope, nope, gotta go. Gotta go. Dude, that's, I, that's awesome. It looks so nice. I love it. Yeah, see, I'm not the only one that's having, like, such lag spikes. Go inside and check it out. Ooh. Ah! No! Oh my god. I'm gonna die! <laughs> uh huh. It's a death trap. Can we sleep now? No, we can't. Cause there's, it says there's a monster that looks like it's inside. I don't know. Oh, afraid. Oh, he's only right there. Okay. Dog, dogs, out of the way. Organize that again. Let's see. Sorgo Sushis would be pretty good. Sraptor. Ooh, we have, we have plenty of stegos. I want to try Ceratops too. Man. A quag. Maybe we'll get one of those. Get one of these, but we won't. No, 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 we won't get those. We're not ready for that one. Hmm, I think we already have a Calican egg. For Sutras? We have two Calican eggs. <clears throat> we'll look forward on that we can get. Anasaurus, I don't know if we're ready for that. I like for the cow it has antlers, so it makes me think that it's like a, not a cow. <laughs> And we'll get this guy. So you need one, two, three uh, buckets of milk. Go ahead and grab the rest of the buckets too, because we need to go and refill those. <clears throat> we'll put the quag in here. Right there. Alrighty then. And I'm interested, I think this one is like the Crassy Gyron. <laughs> I just like to call it Crassy. So the Crassy, that might be some sort of insect, like a centipede thing. Is a centipede in this version? I know that in the 1. 13, 14 update, they added three new dinosaurs. I mean, they're, they're insects, but <clears throat> I think they added like a millipede or something and they added another uh bird i know that recognize that let's see put that up there that should be it for that uh mm. 
Is there still a creeper down here? Yes, there is. Well, you can stay down there for right now. Because I don't want to deal with you. <laughs> I really don't want to. And I don't think there is any way for the villagers to get up here. So I don't know how they keep... Oh, man. It's lit up enough. Where are they coming in from? I don't... There shouldn't be a spot anywhere where they're coming up from. That's, that's what I'm, like, really confused about. Oh, no! Oh, no! Get out of there! Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, you know what, guys? I... Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Uh, sh uh, there, I wasn't here last night when, when it happened. Oh, wow, it's loud. Oh, there it is. Hello, I think it's trying to eat me. I'll give it some food, because then maybe it'll like me. Thank you. No? I don't know if, I don't think it's hungry. That or it just doesn't want my meat. <clears throat> but you know, she, she hatched this little guy last night. Oh, yeah, we were joking last night about how he was, uh... <laughs> that's funny. How we were gonna call him... Oh, he can't eat. Oh, that's cool. How we were gonna call him, uh, yeah, Little Toe Nipper. Because he's a nipper toes. And I think as long as I keep him on my good side, like, like I feed him occasionally and stuff. Oh, so cute. I need... Thumbnail. I need to get closer. I and mean, we have to be careful of this little guy because he, if he gets out, he will start killing everything. And, uh, I know I, we left off where we were working on this, and I do want to say I do have some of it done. I have some of that done. I still need to get a lot more stone and stuff, but I had a lot more footage of us working on this, or me working on this, and um, a bunch of that footage was lost, unfortunately. It got corrupted, and I couldn't save it. I couldn't revert it back, which really sucks. <laughs> so sorry about that, guys. Um, <clears throat> you guys didn't really miss out on too much, it was, it was just really only building stuff and making sure that it all looked pretty, because you can't have ugly looking enclosures, you know? And, what's that? A fossil record. Ooh, I did not know that was in the game. There's probably quite a few things that I don't know that's in the game. But we figure that out as we go. And hopefully we can find a scare gym sometime soon because I really, really <laughs> want uh, <clears throat> us to be able to hatch like the Allosaurus and the T-Rex, the Megalarnia. We would need a couple scarab gems. Scarab gems, then. Because I think after you use one, that's it. Like, you can't use it again. <clears throat> Which kind of sucks, yeah. Alrighty, and that should be it for this enclosure. Um, we can go ahead and go check it out down there. In case... I left that part out from the last video. I probably did. You guys didn't get to see very much of it. I'm just gonna... Bloop. And hopefully there's... N yeah, no mobs down here. But this is pretty much it. And I do plan on, like, you know, changing it. I especially like this part, because it just... You can't hardly tell that there's glass. You can't. This part, you can still tell that it's glass. And it's kind of annoying, but it looks good at the same time. I like it. 
Now, what I do want to use for this in the future is if we find an ocean monument or something, I want to make all of this out of uh, prismarine. Those, the blocks from the monument. Uh, we haven't really ran into an ocean yet, I guess, or we haven't ventured in, ventured out far enough to find an ocean. At least one with a monument, you know. I'm gonna take one coal. I'm gonna put it over here, just so that way we make sure that finishes up. We gotta get some more down here. Um. Yeah. So I have to finish this up, and I do plan on I plan on getting rid of that because I really don't like that. That's such an eyesore. Um. This is all going to be, like, the walls right here are going to be stone, maybe with some other patterns going on. This is just what we have for now. I don't know if we'll wait for... to get the... finish doing this bottom part, because this is just for viewing and stuff. Uh, we do have a couple of aquatic creatures already. So we'll, we'll probably put the dinosaurs in, or whatever we put in here. It might be turtles. We might put turtles in here. Maybe we'll put the light fluoride on in here. And then in that small little... The cove area right here... We'll, we'll probably put, like, maybe the sea scorpions right there. Because it'll be a little easier to actually see them through there. Uh, ooh, you know what? I should... I should get the rest of this coal, because since we need coal for right here, and this will just end up being covered up anyways. Oh, look at you. You're trying to help. You're such a good boy, aren't you? I'm talking, I'm talking to my dog. Ugh. I'm talking to my in-game dog. Such a weirdo. Alright, and then we'll just, we'll pretty much just cover this up. Uh, to about here, I think. Because then we'll fill in the rest of this wall with whatever we're going to fill it up with, which is probably, this, this walkway will probably be stone. Uh, we'll go ahead split the coal up between these <clears throat> and we'll take this because I think so far we're done with this so this will pretty much branch out that way and then if we go this way it'll go straight from about right here going like right there so we'll probably knock out this whole wall because this is centered in there so maybe, well, maybe we won't maybe we'll just take out this section here and we'll curve uh, into the whichever direction we need it to be in. Ooh. And there are no mobs up here? Oh, but there, there is a witch, so... I have to run past her. I want nothing to do with her. Ah! No! No! Stop! Go away! Evil witch. Evil witch. I wanted to breed the cows again, and I want these guys to be like maybe in a bigger enclosure for your space or something. Uh, cause I mean I guess it is a bit kind of cruel to keep them here and work for us all the time, and yeah, it's a bit cruel. And that creeper's still down there, and I think there's mobs on top of our house. So that's very inconvenient. We'll have to light that up or something. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Did the other okay, so the other ones made it. I'm gonna ask you to sit. It sounds like the, the those thingies. Okay. So it was the weird centipede thing that was gone. Alright. Get back. Yeah, that's right. Get back. Oh, 
one. Yeah, you guys, you guys can be the guard dogs out here, you know. Don't like that. I think this this house, this hut in here, is lit up enough. Just in case, I'm gonna put one in the middle of the floor. <clears throat> there we go. All right. Ah! No, 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 no. Is there one? Is there a mob up there in the tree? What? Oh no, he's right there. No, I'm sorry. Leave me alone, please. Oh, man. We need some cats or something, you know? Oh, you know, it'd be so cool. It'd be neat if, uh,. If, like, you, you sit right there. If, uh, creepers didn't like saber tooth cats, that would be, like, super cool. Oh, we did. We lost it. No! It doesn't even say when a culture wreck failed. didn't tell us that it failed you can uh, unless she has it is it here is it in here so did it not fail wait what is it then what platicus thera I don't... Is it in here? <laughs> I didn't see that it was in the chest! I did not see that it was in the chest, like, at all. Oh my gosh. So, okay, so she must have gotten, she must have came back and gotten it around the time when it failed. Because it, I don't remember it saying cultivation failed. Maybe it said it and I just didn't see it, but. Oh, that gave me a little scare. Oh, I think she made like a little scratching post for them. Oh, tether me off. They'll have toys now. All right, let's go ahead and, and fix fix the uh, thing. Um, here we'll need four of these, <clears throat> and we'll need one of these, and we can go and craft them and hope that all the mobs that are all around our house go away my gosh we don't normally have this many mobs and yeah it's probably from us not sleeping is the reason why there's a whole bunch of them just everywhere no but we don't we always forget to sleep anyways we're always running around all over the place not sleeping like we probably should be Organize that, and then, yeah, there you go. So I don't want this anymore, so I'm just gonna... Yeah. I think... Oh, you know what? I can pick it up. It's fine. It's fine. I wasn't trying to litter all over the place. Not at all. Head. Get some coal. Oh no, no. Get some coal there. 
come through and throw it in there. So we got a little bit more in there. Let's see, what else do we want? I think we want another Pteranodon. We'll go ahead and get the Bellow. I want the Ceratosaurus so bad, too. They are so cool. Oh, we need Sturgeon. Um, we can get some Sturgeon. I'm sure they would get along okay with turtles, right? I don't know, I'm not calling, I keep calling them turtles. Uh, I think it's Honotus. Honotus is the proper word. Yeah, Honotus. What else did I see? Or chicken. I don't, I keep thinking that you're a dinosaur. But I'm sure you're just gonna give us a chicken if we were to. Ooh, it'd be, it'd be cool if it gave you like a prehistoric chicken or not your regular chicken but i already know it's just gonna be a regular chicken if we if we uh hatch that and we i don't really think we want that we can just easily go get some chicken eggs same thing with the cows we have a ton of cows we don't need any more I want to go ahead. I don't know what this one gives us yet, so I'm gonna maybe go plant that. Uh, let me grab some bone meal from over here. Get that. And we'll have you come with us, pupper. Go back in so we can take a, a quick way around. And just hide out in their house. Oh, you know what? Maybe they're coming in through this way. That would make a lot of sense. Okay. Since I'm already here, I'm gonna run away from the door, you chickens. Since I'm here, four. We'll need it. We'll need four. Um. Right. Cause it's, well, there is that part too, but there's, we'll put one there. Go over here to this side. Excuse you. What is this thing still doing here? Oh my. There isn't any wood still in it. No. Should be gone already. I think he ran off in the other direction. I know, I need you out of my way. We'll put that there. Um, I guess we'll put that there because it'll, pre it'll prevent anything from really wandering off through that section. That means, no, we won't need another one for the other side. Okay, no, we're good. All right. So now we will see what the chordate sapling is. Put it. Well, put it right here. Please don't destroy my hut. Please don't destroy my hut. Oh, I like that. That's nice. It's not too big. I like the wood. What does the wood look like? If we were to, ooh, chordates planks. That's that's pretty. It's almost like like spruce mixed in with a little bit of uh, acacia and the smallest bit of oak because it's a little light. I like that. Yeah. See, look, it was, the game was even like, ah, oh, that looks like spruce. Here's some spruce. We have so many more saplings that we need to, saplings and seeds that we need to get. And what are these? Oh, they're balls. Okay. All right. Well, that's cool. We'll go ahead and fill this little section up. Like that. There we go. Perfect. 
And I like that. That looks good. How does that... I can't tell. That looks, that looks pretty nice on the, uh, the little mini-map. Get our dark, our dark on. Our guard dog, right there. You sit right there. Let's see. Ooh, are you done? No. You're almost done. Ooh! Casagirness eggs. I don't even know. Actually, let me see what a Casagirness even is. Uh, how do you spell it? Oh, sturgeon. Let's say Cassie Gyrinus. Okay. Let's see. Huh. Okay, it's an aquatic-like creature. Okay, interesting. Ooh, here's a velociraptor, and then our tween. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure if it's a salamander or a lizard or something. The picture that I saw looked makes it look like it's a type of aquatic salamander thing. All these up here. There we go. Where's it at? Okay, there's it. Um. That doesn't sound good. Let me see here. Look up what could be home together and fossils. Archaeology. Uh, okay, well, I don't know. That's something that we'll have to, like, talk over with her. Because I'm not really sure what can be homed together. What does it say? Oh, I got that issue. I was about to say, wait, we have to, we hatched a raptor? No. Just incubated one. Let's see here. I really... Because that little land area would be perfect for turtles. Turtles. Um. But, well, I don't know. So we need to we need to see if we can. All right. Uh. Let me look that up then. If we can home these three together, because I like the turtle, the sturgeon, and the cassie. I notice. Oh my god, that wheezing sound. I hate it so much. Okay. 
Pass. Gear. Nice. And I think Sturgeon is actually still... I think Sturgeons aren't extinct. Like, they're considered a dinosaur because a dinosaur is technically a creature that's been around for a very long time, not necessarily what we think as a T-Rex as a dinosaur, because it's just a big chicken, is pretty much what it is. And I know that there was somewhere where there was, like, uh, scientists that discovered... Uh, that were, like, testing on chickens and stuff, and they'll look inside the egg, and it's, like, pretty much a recreation, the almost a perfect recreation of a dinosaur. Like, these chickens will have, like, teeth, more narrowed, longer beaks, uh, bigger clawed claws or talents, I guess is what you want to call it. Um... And, oh, what else? And they had, like, long raptor, no, it was, like, like, like a baby Rex's tail, I believe. It was, like, that. No. Uh, but they, they, the thing is, is that they are, these scientists aren't allowed to let the eggs hatch. So before they hatch, they have to, you know, kill them. And it's, like, you're creating this creature for like science and stuff but you can't let it hatch to see if it can even survive or uh seeing if it's actually working to recreate it and at the same time it's like it's such a danger risk because we know what we're doing uh the state or government and i forget what state it is but i know the government's just like no, you, you can't hatch them. It could be such a high danger threat. And it is. Like, if something were to go wrong, like if it were to get on the loose or something, that's very dangerous. There's no telling what could happen. And it's scary to think that some, chi some person's child could get eaten by this uh, prehistoric modern day chicken thing that's yeah it's, but it's it's cool knowing that we can change genetics so much like that that we have the power to do that but at the same time should we really be doing that i don't think we should be doing that in my opinion yes we can bring back extinct modern day animals that made that we made go extinct because of us uh i know that the saber-toothed tiger the only reason that it went extinct was because we were taking all of its food source it was at the top of the food chain nothing else uh was like higher than that not even us like saber -te teeth toothed Sabertooth tigers were, they would have hunted us to extinction if we allowed them to evolve any more than what they already had evolved. And it's terrifying to think about that, you know? It's, uh, oh, she's lagging. Uh, but yeah, no. The only reason why Sabertooth tiger isn't around anymore is because we hunted all of its food source, uh, to where they went extinct. The dodos, we hunted them to extinction. They're not even like... <laughs> they, they, I forget where it was, what island, they resided on like an island or something like that. It was somewhere where it was the last population of dodo and they just weren't afraid of humans because it, it they didn't have any natural enemies, so they didn't know that they needed to, you know, run away from us. Otherwise, they'd go extinct. And I gotta fix this back part here sometime soon. Let me go ahead and fill this in real quick. But, yeah. That's... It's crazy.
crazy because to think dodos could still be around right now if they had become a protected species long, long ago, and that's gonna bother me. Uh, I'm sorry, little guy. I'm gonna have to take from your house some more. Oh my, I saw that, uh, I saw the cactus through the window there, and I thought that was a creeper, and I was genuinely scared for a moment. Funny! <laughs> so funny. Uh, but yeah. Dodos and saber tooth tigers could still be around if it weren't for us interfering as, like, taking the food sources or hunting them to extinction. Uh, there was also the... What was it? It was, like, a Tasmanian tiger, I believe. Yeah, they're, like, these weird... They looked more like a maybe like a skinny coyote and the last footage of them is like this really blurry old uh video footage and it's, it's like super old and it's pretty much them and like a zoo or a sanctuary or something like that i don't know where i'll have to uh check it out and then, if I find it, I will go ahead and, like, maybe put a couple of screenshots here in the video, if, if I remember, which I'm sure I, I'm sure I will remember. I, like, maybe some things that I will forget when uploading some stuff, but I think, oh my goodness, that's a lot of coconuts. See, okay, I hate these trees, because you'll, you'll destroy the tree, get, get all the wood, and I like the wood. But, uh, the leaves don't despawn. Which is really stupid. And annoying. Stupid and annoying. <clears throat> uh, oh, we got two poisonous patats. But it's, it's pretty much what happened. It's just a lot of animals would still be around. I know sturgeon are considered to be dinosaur. They're prehistoric. But they're still living. I don't- I'm afraid to give him directly it. Can you put it in there? My goodness. Yeah. Just fill up on that. And you like- you, you like to hang out back here. Here you go. I hate you. I hate you so much. So very badly. I hate you. Stupid creepers. Actually, we'll we'll give you all of the potatoes, and then we'll we'll throw in some seeds too. So you need those, and then we'll go check on the dodos. And I really should be carrying this book with me. My book, I still have it put away. Uh, <clears throat> and they they keep eating. You guys have a feeder. Oh wait, is there? Okay, I don't think that there's still a um, still that creeper down here. Thankfully, I don't see it on the mini map, and I don't see it here. It's just that dumb creeper right there. All right, throw that there. Where are my dodos? My hey, little dodo birds. Back here. Oh, there's you. Here you go, you eat up, and then you eat up, no, come here, there you go, uh, if you guys have any name suggestions for the dodos, you can go ahead and leave them down there in the comments, uh, if not, I, I don't know, they're both, they're both males, so far, the only dinosaur that we have a name for is Rufus, our Gastornis that's over, over in that enclosure that you guys just saw over there. He's so far the only one that, that has been named. Have anything in here again? No. Alright. So I know I want to... 
Oh man. Let me ask her. Because I don't want to put them in there and then we lose one of them. Like, I don't think that her. I'm pretty sure her notice will not attack anything. Because, I don't know, it's a turtle. I don't think it would attack anything. But I don't know about Hinotis. It's a salamander. It's, um, I think... Um, is it an aquatic amphibian? Amphibian? I'm fairly certain it is an aquatic amphibian. Let me check just one more time. It is, it says that Crassy, Crassy Gerinus is an extinct genus of carnivorous stem tetrapod from the early Carboniferous of Scotland and possible Greer, West Virginia. Type of specimen was originally described as Macromerium scotium and lacked a couple a complete skull ah. uh, with the subsequent discoveries Cassie Jurianus is known from three lower jaws no from three from three skulls one of which is an articulation of a fairly complete skeleton and two incomplete lower jaws Cassie Jurianus grew up to two meters in length Coupled with tiny limbs and unusually large jaws. Sorry if I'm also pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> it's just, it's a very long name. Crassigyrinus is testonically and enigmatic, having confused paleontology. Paleontologists for decades with its apparent fish like and tetrapod features. It is traditionally placed within the group. That's a long word. Lab. We'll call it Labry. Labrin Thudentia. Some of you might know that word. I don't know. But however, you pronounce it. It's a very long word. It has the word labyrinth in it. Odentia. Along with many other early tetrapods, some paleontologists have considered it as the most basal crown group tetrapod, while others hesitate to even place it within the tetrapod tetrapoda superclass. Crassy has unusually large jaws, enabling it to eat other animals as it could catch animals it could catch and swallow. It has two rows of large, of sharp teeth in its jaws, the second row having a pair of fangs. Cassie has large eyes, suggesting that it was either nocturnal or, or lived in very murky water. Oh, don't know if we want to put the turtles in there. Man. Okay, so I can see a couple of, like, video suggestions on here about them. Like, Fossils in archaeology. It seems like maybe you could put Diplodocus in the Cassie together. Oh. Sorry about that, guys. Phone call. <laughs> um, that's so weird. Yeah, no, these, these pictures that I'm finding are super weird. So we could probably put Diplodocus and the Cassie together. Maybe. I don't know. I'd be also afraid that they would, like, eat each other. Okay. So, I think... Let's see here. Arthroplora. Let's check that one out.
spell that right, right? Arthro. Arthro. There we go. Arthlopora is this giant centipede. Millipede. Sorry. It is a millipede. Ooh, those would be cool. So I think we're going to hatch this guy. I don't know if he'll eat from a feeder, though. Um, how do, let's see how we make a feeder again. Because sometimes you just have to look it up. What are these? Oh, how many big feeders? Okay, cool. Stone buttons, glass. Okay, okay. So here, I think it needed iron. Yeah, I need two iron. We'll get. We'll we'll take some of that. Two, three, four. I believe is what it needed. Um, I know it needed a bucket. And I believe we have a button somewhere. I think it's up here. Yeah, plenty of buttons. Alright. Let's go ahead and crap this guy. It was like right there and there. Going around there. Oops. There we go. Yes, there we go. Um, I believe, so, it is a carnivore, I know that for sure. And the thing is, I have no idea if it'll eat from the feeder. Because there was, there's an issue with aquatic creatures not eating from feeders. And actually, because I don't need these nasty potatoes, we'll get rid of them. Uh, since she is off for the moment, we'll go ahead and... It says that she left twice. Weird. We'll go ahead and... We'll test it. Now, I know that you can't put fish directly into it. Like, you have to feed them, uh... You have to feed it to them. Very strange. Like, like, yeah, I don't think you can put, you can't put fish in the feeder. And it's so very weird. Uh, my book. My book is right here. Alright. And I think for, to get in and out. Get one of these. Whoops, did not mean to do that. So I, I I am going to put go ahead and go put the Cassie in there. As we continue to pretty much drown ourselves, almost drown ourselves. Put the feeder like right here. Put this in there. Go back up for air. And hopefully it can eat from the feeder. Um. Oh, you can put fish in there. Nice. Oh, don't drown. Don't drown. All right. So, because that's there. We'll go ahead. <gasps> oh! Tiny baby! Tiny baby! Come here! Where'd it go? Ah! It's attacking me! It hates me!
Maybe because it's hungry? There it is. Is that it? That's it right there. You can kind of see it. It's hard to see it. It's like attacking me. Ah! I just want to feed you. Oh my god. <laughs> it's attacking me. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That kinda sucks. Okay, no water. We're black black back over here. There we go. Alright, 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 go, 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 go! <laughs> I don't wanna drown and get eaten by this thing. It's so mean and vicious. I thought it'd be this cute little salamander, but no. It's acting pretty much kind of like how it's described. Like, it'll try to freaking. Oh. Oh, Ripstorm. Oh, Ripstorm! <laughs> it'll try to put anything it can fit into its mouth. I don't think. I don't know if she lost her stuff. No, she lost her stuff. Sorry, guys. I want to see it in the Dinopedia! I want the, the XP. I can't afford to die. I have so many levels. Alright. Where's it at? Maybe hatching this guy was a bad idea. He's so mean. I don't see him. Where's he at? Is he asleep? Is that him right there? I can't tell. No. No? Yes? No. No, it's not. You know what they say, evil never sleeps, and this guy is certainly evil. Absolutely evil. Right. I can do this. I can do this. I got this. I can go. Oh, but I don't know where he's at. Ah! He's right there! <gasps> he's eating. Are you still eating foot pants? I want to click you with my book. I think he's trying to attack me. Yeah, yes, 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 he is still trying to attack me. But I wanna- I wanna click you! With my book! Ugh. So go eat some more, dang it. You're just angry, angry little evil thing. My goodness. I'm too high to click him. <sighs> man. Oh my gosh. He needs, like, way more food. And he's still evil. He's still angry. <laughs> uh. No! Oh, no. I was hoping that he was like asleep or something. He's just sitting here. What do I do? I want to get rid of you. We'll we'll put you in like a smaller glass <laughs> enclosure. Uh, like a turd. We'll put the turtles in here. We should have put the turtles in here. Get plenty of notice. I hate you. I don't like you. You're so mean. I. Can't get her stuff from down there either. I don't. I can't tell if it. I think her stuff, whatever was left, despawned. She didn't have much on her. Well, guys, um, we'll figure out what to do with this little guy. Uh, we'll 
get her stuff back too. Uh, but I guess that's kind of all for now. Um, wish us luck because this guy is an absolute menace. Ah! See? See what I mean? He's so mean. Anyways, guys, I'll, I'll see you later. Uh, bye!